Here's the new Peugeot 508 in full, now officially released after a low res set of images emerged online. It's a fantastic looking big sedan, for this rider at least, and Peugeot is calling it the Radical Saloon. The French car maker is aiming high with this one. Following the success of our latest major launches and our SUV offensive with the 2008, 3008 and 5008, we needed a vision for the large Peugeot saloon that would continue to shake up the market with a vehicle that rivals the best. And in D-segment cars, we're competing with the world's greatest automakers. More than ever, the new 508 embodies the ambition we've been stating for several years already, to make Peugeot the top high-end generalist automotive brand, declared CEO Jean-Philippe Imperato. The D-segment sedan isn't a very hot one now, no thanks to everyone buying SUVs, and Peugeot acknowledges this. It was against this backdrop that the designers stated their clear aim, to move away from the conventional booted four-door shape and towards a five-door fastback coupe saloon. The new 508's design is inspired by recent Peugeot concepts such as the Exalt and Instinct. The i-cockpit scene here is taken directly from the Exalt concept. A handsome car starts with good proportions, and the new 508 is shorter, 4.75 meters versus 4.83 meters, and lower than before, just below 1.4 meters versus 1.46 meters. The 2.79 meters wheelbase is shorter by 2.4 centimeters, which means that most of the reduction went into the overhangs. Wheels are from 16 to 19 inches. The aggressive front end features LED headlamps, distinctive vertical LED DRLs that frame the face and Peugeot's latest grille with chrome checkerboard motif. A unique element is the 508 badge on the bonnet, above the Lion logo, as seen on the 504 from the 1970s. Peugeot says that the horizontal bonnet has been lowered as much as possible. Adding to the car's sleekness are frameless doors and the deletion of the roof aerial, now silk screened. The 508's fine behind sports 3D LED tail lamps in the Mark's signature claw motif, framed in a glossy black horizontal strip. There's also a nicely hidden tailgate. Yes, there's a tailgate in place of a regular saloon boot, which means access to the 487 liter boot, 1537 liters max, is easy. The 508 is technically a 5-door then, which explains the frequent mentions of the Audi A5 Sport back in the press release. Inside, the new 508 features the latest version of the Peugeot i cockpit, which consists of a compact steering wheel, a 10-inch capacitive touchscreen in 8-3 format, and a 12.3-inch digital instrument panel that Peugeot calls head-up display. The HUD has six different display modes and a new night vision system. The latter uses an infrared camera and detects living beings in front of the vehicle at nighttime or in low visibility conditions. The system ensures detection within a 200 to 250 meters range, beyond the headlights scope. For engines, the Big Pug will be offered with new generation Euro 6.C PureTech and Blue D engines, with extended SCR technology, for best-in-class CO2 emission levels. The engines take into account new technical provisions and the WLTP procedure, which is more real-world than traditional lab tests. There are two petrol 1.6 liters PureTech engines, the PureTech 180 and the PureTech 225 for the range topping GT. The four diesel options are based on the 1.5 liters and 2.0 liters Blutie engines. They are the base Blutie 136 speed manual, Blutie 130, Blutie 160 and Blutie 180. 
All the engines have auto stop start and are paired to the E88 speed automatic, except for the base diesel mount Peugeot says that a plug-in hybrid petrol drivetrain is in the works and will be available for the 508 in late 2019. The French-made 508 will make its debut at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show next month and will go on sale from September this year. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.